Why hello kids, I'm gonna teach you how to fix Fallout 3's retarded problems, so let's get into this goddamn tutorial. I'm gonna try to do this as fast as possible without talking, but I'm also gonna talk so you guys know what's up. So, what you first wanna do is close this window, useless. You wanna go to the start menu, documents, you wanna go down and look for my games. To get to my games, you wanna click on Fallout 3 and Fallout that any. Now, you want to click on the text right here to get there. You want to press Control and F. Control F at the same time. So, what's getting there? What you're going to want to search is the use threaded AI. Find next. Once you get there, ooh, look at this. So beautiful. It's going to be set to zero. You don't want it to be set to zero. You want it to be set to one. Magic. Okay. And then this. It's not going to exist, so you're going to want to add the line, and to do that, you just simply type it, okay? You want to make sure that it's right under the BU threaded AI, okay? So it's INM HW threads, that is CPU things, I'm assuming. I have no clue, but that's what I'm assuming. And that should possibly fix the startup problems and the random crashes in the game. But if it doesn't, I have more things for you kids. So what you're going to want to do is find the Fallout 3 directory and do that, you go to computer, local disk C, you want to go to programs, times 86, and Bethesda Softworks, and if you're Steam, you want to go to the Steam location, and then, uh, I'm not a Steam, I do not use Steam, I'm not a Steam user, I'm not a fan, yeah, that's weird, most people use Steam, you're like, how much do you use Steam, you dick? Fuck Steam, bro, fuck Steam, I don't like Call of Duty, therefore I don't like Steam, so, that's the software, it's Fallout 3. And then once you get in there, you're gonna right click on Fallout3.exe Properties. And then you're gonna click on Compatibility. And these are gonna be unchecked. You wanna check both of them. And you wanna make sure it's Windows XP Service Pack 3. If you don't have Service Pack 3, set Service Pack 2. If you wanna get Service Pack 3, just look it up online or use Windows Update. So that should that should most definitely likely fix the startup that should fix the startup problems in Fallout 3. Not really random crashes. But if it's still crashing and you don't know why, I have some more tricks and things for you kids. So you're gonna wanna download you're gonna have to download stuff, yes, but it's all free. You don't need to pay for anything. So you're going to wanna download Smart Defy 2. NVIDIA DVD. Performance fix, Oslogix Registry Cleaner, and WinRI. Download WinRI. You want to download WinRI first. Go to the English, I assume you speak English. And then choose your operating system's bitrate. See so what that is. Well, not bitrate, but bit. Mm, whatever. It would be 64 bit, minus 64 bit. Look at that. So, I'm gonna do that for you kids again just in case you missed it. To look up your bitrate, you wanna go there, right click on computer, properties, and then there's your bitrate right there. Look, magic. So my 64, I downloaded 64, but I already have it downloaded, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna install it. Oslogix, download that crap. Now, to download this, you might be a little confused, I'm gonna just teach you how to do it. You gotta go to the files, main files, D3. And if this one doesn't work for you, you want to install this one, but you have no idea which one works for you yet, so install the first one first. Obviously. And you want to pick the first server that you see, my Seattle USA, because that's going to be the one with the, best, with the best ping. That's the server that's closest to where you live, most likely. So, this is why you're going to have Rinroy. And you're going to go back to the Fallout location directory, whatever you call it, and you're gonna drag this simply into the directory. Now, this is not gonna pop up most likely, but if it does, just click move and replace. So, now that that's done, let's get to the simple things. So, 
you only want to have all these clicked once you get into the Ocelotics Registry Cleaner. You want to have all these clicked. Hmm, beautiful. And then you're going to scan now. All you have to do is scan. See, so mine's looking for errors as we speak. I'm going to start doing that. We're going to look for the Smart Defrag 2 that we just installed. Ah, uh, sorry. Sorry that's so transparent. I, I apologize. I messed up the settings. But you're going to click on defrag simply and this will defrag it for you. And what defragging does is it it basically like resets the file's locations or like not the locations exactly, but it rearranges them in order that the hard drive can read it in a faster way. So set let, let's say that your hard drive already has it set in an order and your files are at like B, C, D, E, F, G, they're just scrambled all over the place. But if you defrag it, it's gonna be read in a more simple order like A, B, C, D, or one, two, three, not two, four, five. It'd be like 1, 2, 3, not 2, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's skip a few, go to 50, and then go back to 30. Let's do that, yeah. No, all over the way. That's like a mess. So that's the most simplistic way I can uh, describe it to you kids. And look, oh, found 500. And, oh, oh, yes, I would definitely like to be pair. Like this. Oh, look. I just fixed all my registry problems without having to go into regedit and do it manually. Awesome. So, that should be the end of this tutorial of Fallout 3. It should definitely boot. If it doesn't, please leave a comment in the description and I will help you kids out. And you guys might be wondering, just in case, I'm gonna let you guys know. What the fuck is this? What is this? What is all this cool stuff? Well, I'll make tutorial videos on how to get it if you subscribe and like. Because I don't see the point and making videos if I don't know if people watch them. What's the point if no one watches them? It's simply useless. I don't get very many views as of now. No one watches my videos as of now, honestly. But if you want to have cool tutorials that are this easy to follow, then subscribe and like. That's all you have to do. You don't even have to like really leave any comments to have these kind of videos. I will assume that you want them and I'll put them on there because I know people like this kind of stuff. You want to have a cool little spectrum, don't you? A spectrum analyzer. Yeah, that's cool, it's an equalizer, bro. And then you want to be able to just like, oh, what? What is this, witchcraft? Oh, oh, that's a cool animation. Oh, look, I can see my RAM. Oh, look, I go to my recycle bin and empty it without having to do all this stuff. Oh, look, that's what time it is. Oh, that's cool. So, I send this tutorial. Goodbye, have a good day, and don't suck my dick, please.